Crazy. Fly to a seat, uh, I gon' need a medic I can still fly, LV by my belly Don't be the kind, that I'm my pocket heavy I've money by my brain, keep the door away sand Talk out with the code that I serve, not the land Ice by my neck, that shine like a chain Now I thought money, man, I know what you're saying Big guy in hot, up to the stocks I want all the hood, I'm a not out of the app I'm flying like this, now I don't need a gas I'm up on the line, and we up on the map what's up guys welcome back malik here and today we're going to be reviewing my trades from wednesday thursday and friday wednesday i wasn't able to show my trades because something is wrong with the skill funded traders platform i'm going to actually show you right now so here it is on the skill funded trader platform i'm not able to pull up any of my past trades and you know we've been able to track all of them here regularly i don't know if something is wrong happening hopefully something bad isn't happening but we'll see what happens but i'm gonna still be able to review my trades using the platform here i have md5 on my computer and i logged into the platform so we can start with my first trade on this is wednesday so we're starting from wednesday and you can actually see this one was quick i got knocked out within three minutes for a loss of 24 the percent change on my account was 0.09 percent so you can see i'm risking 0.09 on a trade there sometimes 0.2 but 0.09 and i actually like this it turned out better so we can actually see more of um what's going on like how much i'm risking per trade and how much i make per trade if i make 0.4 on the trade if i make 1.3 percent on the trade how much was this okay one 1 1.3 of the account right so this one you can see i risk 0.09 percent on that one trade i got knocked out within three minutes and this was a sell side position so let's go to wednesday at that time let's go to wednesday at that time so wednesday so the first trade i entered a sell on wednesday and let's see at a short what was my entry my entry is 17 343 point seven four you can see it highlighted over there and then i had a stop loss of seventeen three sixty seventeen three sixty so pretty tight stop loss i don't want to risk too much on the trade got knocked out for twenty four thirty nine you can see that's where my stop loss was if i had a small a little bigger stop loss i would have been able to take advantage of some of these bigger moves even this move down here so i mean hindsight is always 2020 but this is where i prefer to get my risk or if i got a better entry like here i would have probably been able to stick out the trade a bit much because i would have taken on the same amount of risk which is about a 20 30 or 25 risk on that trade the next one i entered and this was on the same day, same candle I entered to the buy side, right? So we're focusing on this one now. I entered to the buy side and you can see my, I've been going a little bigger on the volume because I'm seeing the consistency. I just want them to hit and I just actually let them ride out. But I might actually reverse that if I start to take too much losses because you can see I've taken all losses from let's see how long i've been taking a lot of losses basically that's all i'm saying taking a lot of losses i even took two losses on friday so let's go here so on this buy side one i entered at three seventeen three five four point four nine this is my entry and then my stop loss was 17 320 same same um same candle as the one before 17 320 so what did i have a buy side trade and then i got knocked out on the 11 candle you can see it um you can see it here i got knocked out 11 15 and you can also see it here on the chart i got knocked out on the 11 candle 
for a loss of 41. So I was in the trade for a good little while before getting knocked out for a loss of 41. And 41 is a 0.2% loss on the account. So it's not too bad. So I'm risking 0.2 on this trade, going 0.12 and then just having that level of stop loss, which is what, 32, 34. All right, we we'll move on to the next day now. So let's move on to the next day where I also had a loser of 15, but this one was a 0.09% risk on the account. And this one was a sell side trade. So where did I enter this on the one candle? First candle. And ideally, if I had gotten the direction right, I would have made out on this trade because you can see if you had went buys on today, you would have been right on the entire day. Just having your stop loss a little bit below, you wouldn't have been topped out and you would have been able to take advantage of this move to the upside. And that's what I really look for in the days. And I'm going to start to hold my winners a bit longer, get this full move of the day, get that full candle close. That's what I'm looking for. So this one I entered with a 0 0.1 at 17.8, And let's go to the, yeah, that's this one. So I entered a sell side trade. So that's where I was wrong. My bias was wrong off the day. And then I always explain this, like the most important thing to me is not trading, especially when I find out I'm wrong. So this one, I got knocked out within the first candle from what I'm seeing. I got knocked out within the first candle. Typically, when I get knocked out on the first candle, I flip the bias or I wait until later to actually re-enter. So this one, my stop loss was at 17,200. And you can see I got stopped out on that very first candle there. So I entered down here, I got stopped out, same candle, because I had a sell side position, right? The next one, five hours later, five hours later, I re-entered a sell side position. So at the five candle, I entered a sell side position, because I'm thinking, all right, that's where we're tipping out, we're going to start to come back down now. So I entered here at 17.224.24. And then I actually got stopped out on the 10 candle at 17,240. 17,240.12. You can see the actual stop loss, stop out price here, but I'm just showing you where I had my stop loss at. So, and when did I get knocked out on the 10? And does that match here? Yep. And you can see trading view is actually showing you when it hit my stop loss on what candle and it matches where this is showing here so i got stopped out on the 10 there for a total loss of 23.82 you can see 23.82 still falls within like 0.09 percent change on my account so i'm risking 0.09 and then on these trades i can make about one percent a little bit over one percent or one percent on the account and one percent on the account is 150 dollars so the next trade now this one this one so this one is the next day now this is friday and i don't know i just couldn't trade friday well what happened friday as well i had a we had a big week down this was was this the week we had a week that basically took took me out took everyone out and then it continued to go up which was crazy i hate moves like that but what can you do you can't do anything about that so i try to get the best entry so i don't have to really stomach all of those moves but you see i was right on the day i was right to the buy side but there's no way you're not standing through this and also this was um ppi i think it was pce i think it's pc or ppi something happened there was a big Where's, where's the event? Some big news event actually came out and that's what really pushed us down before the market started to rally up. So 
I'm just going to show you where my position was and I risk 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. So I didn't even risk 1% of my account on this trade, but I still took some losses. I took a loss of 45 and 67. So this one had an entry at 17538.19. And then my stop loss was 17500. can see I got stopped out on the 10 here it matches that one perfectly for a 45.76 loss so the buy side trade I was up I, I wasn't really up much but I just was knocking around my stop loss hoping that I didn't get stopped out but I definitely would have gotten stopped out on this 15 candle if I had held it much longer I wouldn't definitely I wouldn't put my risk down here to get probably less than the move here because you're not sure that you could wipe your account just like that having a big stop loss right so i definitely would not do that the next one i entered a buy and it seems like i got stopped out i got stopped out on the 15 candle actually so this one i got a better entry i got a better entry and it still wiped me out so that's a prime example like getting a good entry it allows you to withstand a lot more of the move in the market. But if you're not, if the market goes against you, you can't do anything about that. What you have to do is control yourself and make sure that you can trade the next day. Don't blow up your account, man. Don't just do everything well. I can see my stop loss was 17.485. But it looks like I got stopped out at 17.452. Yeah, look, like I got stopped out way lower, way lower than um than I had expected. Or is either that or I move my stop loss? It's possible that I move my stop loss. Well, I got stopped out at seventeen four five two point five nine, and that one was a loss of sixty seven point three two. So I would have had to get a little bigger stop loss but i still probably would have gotten knocked out on the candle that would have taken us right up so you never know what can happen in the market i was right on the direction and the market closed much higher another catalyst was facebook earnings facebook is doing amazing facebook is doing amazing if you type in meta you can see meta stock you can see this huge gap up here on facebook about 60 70 dollars move up and it's holding there from doing some great earnings sheer buybacks from mark zuckerberg dividends from facebook as well so facebook is really carrying up the market what else can we look at i'm gonna look kind of top down because people always talk about top down analysis so we can look at we can look at we look at the week so if we're looking at a weekly on monday looking at the weekly and we're looking for say you're looking for a bullish close right we're looking for a bullish close perhaps i need to pay more attention to when we really start to push down and kind of press the trigger on these moves i mean it was a 400 dollar weekly candle for sure so you never know where you're gonna get in but if my bias remained a bullish i would have been able to capitalize on some of these moves and i don't know if what day would have given me the best entry wednesday would have given me the best entry well on the week so it's very interesting i think i'm gonna work on that to kind of figure out this top down analysis portion of it so i can figure out the bias from the week and then that can allow me to structure my days and once i get that move on the days i can kind of just stop trading for the week but pretty long video i hope you like it and i mean our favorite stock is not really not really holding up you can see tesla breaking down I was able to get some puts, capitalize off that, and then before it started to range. It's a good thing I closed on these because you know, you know they want to cook you. Even though you're right on the move, on the direction, 
the stock just doesn't go down enough and then that just damages the implied volatility which really kills your option on the contract right so that's kind of why i kind of eased off options because when the stock does like a quick rebound when it should be selling off or when it was selling off that can damage your that can damage your contract price a lot right so i was able to take a move off of that meta meta man meta should have been a great earnings play i didn't play it i played amazon it moved slightly it didn't move it didn't move at like this the contracts didn't move like this i got a 182 i was able to take some profits it wasn't that clean wasn't that nice like meta meta was a banger so going forward i'm definitely gonna pay more attention to earnings to earnings and not miss all opportunities still try a bit more because i was thinking about meta but i just didn't press the trigger on it meta microsoft netflix costco paolo alto a lot of stocks move well this earnings and you could have capitalized off of it but you never know what can happen but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one and i apologize for the videos not being here but you see we have a solution now that is actually better so i'll see you in the next one next week will be great what am i predicting on next week and what am i going to capitalize on so if we're looking at let's look at the let's look at the mm, this is the weekly now all right let's even start at the monthly let's start at the monthly to kind of come back down to the or even three months come come let's do the three months and then kind of figure out where we are so this is very interesting this is the three month candle well well okay so on the three months we're bullish and this closes in one month and 27 days on the one month on the one month we're bullish three days in 26 days to go so one month we bullish but we not start we haven't started to break above here okay one week we're bullish we still haven't broken above that previous high as yet cool so we're bullish but haven't broken above the previous high we're bullish haven't broken above the previous high we're bullish on the three month we're bullish broken above the previous high and kind of grinding our way up on the daily we're bullish haven't broken above the previous high so i think everything is signed up for bullish so let's see how monday is i'm going bullish and in a few months you'll see me buy this plaid bro that's the plaid have money for my brain crypto what you're saying i'll see you in the next video bye bye